Yes, I just expected a man of your uh, tradition to have something to call for a moral response. You are a philosopher. You make the point that we have a responsibility to shape a moral conscience and take uh, courageous stands. So just for the sake of the slow learners, myself included, uh, you will, the difference, this is ethnic cleansing. Um, these are premeditated killings based upon the ethnicity of the person on the other end of the rifle, including women and children and old people. Uh, the difference between this and what Hitler did is what? The, the, dif the oh, difference the, between what's happening in Bosnia and oh, what Hitler... It's not... Uh, I mean, what Hitler did was, th was try to carry out total extermination and, in fact, succeed in, with uh, the Jews and well, the so, Gypsies. So are, so no, are they're, the trying to, they're trying to drive them out and kill the ones who won't stay. And there's plenty of examples of that in the world, plenty of examples. In 1948 in Palestine, there were similar examples. It's ugly. It's extremely ugly. And what's going on there is very ugly. When you talk about a moral response, you're correct. However, we have to think what a moral response is. An action is a, you're a moral agent. You're carrying out, you know, you're thinking in moral terms. If you ask, what are the human consequences of the actions that I propose? Which would have, why would that not have been an appropriate question for the Allies to ask in advance, uh, following the invasion of Poland by Hitler? Well, first of all, following the invasion of Poland, there was uh, what happened, in fact, after the invasion of Poland is that Britain and France declared war. But at that time, remember, Hitler was not carrying out an extermination policy. And well, very few people assumed that he would be. Well, then they had less Jews. evidence then to send their loved ones and to spill did, blood in and behalf they did, of this. But they did. Uh, fr uh, uh, France and England declared war honoring a, uh, a, a, a treaty, treaty that they had right. with Poland. And yeah. then they sat there and, and they didn't do anything. fight. You know, I'm trying to understand the moral distinction. The, the, the mor any, first of all, during the Second World War, there were no moral actions. No one entered into any actions for moral grounds. And in fact, states, states are not moral agents. They don't act uh, with moral goals. Humans do, but not states. Okay. Now, if we want to, we can pressure our states to, states are instruments of violence. People are moral agents. They can press their state, in very, especially in democratic states, with some effectiveness sometimes, to, to, to either mute their violence or to carry out, you know, even right. relatively benign actions. But you have to ask yourself, what actions am I proposing? Now, if, you're, if you do want to think in moral terms, you say, what are going to be the human consequences of the actions I'm proposing? I, and there's, I am asking you... There's nothing moral about condemning atrocities. That's trivial. I, you can I, I, condemn I, I, the atrocities of Genghis Khan, but you can't do anything about right. it. Right, but I'm no. still con somewhat uh, uh, confused as to uh, why the questions that you pose, which no doubt uh, honorable people could ask, many did, in advance of our participation in World War II, would come up with a yes, we are morally obliged to commit our own blood and our loved ones to the arresting of the Nazi we menace. We did nothing of the sort. That Germany declared war on us. I would we have didn't to declare say war that's on true. Germany. That's true. It was Germany never a moral declared issue. war on us. It was never a moral uh, issue. The but Germany declared war on us. Well, and the Russians and didn't the, fight the Germans yeah, because of look, a moral I mean, issue. This well, is all. These are all. But, but, they, but all right, fact, Germany it, declared war on us, but they were just as geographically distant uh, from us to give us at least the option to make these judgments we, about whether or not yeah. we want to send our. But we, we did not enter the Second World War in order to stop Germany. All right. So the difference. Look at this. We have a record of this. I mean, up until the late 1930s, the State Department was saying we have to support Hitler because he's a moderate who's standing between the extremes True, of left and right. True, to be sure. I, but I, uh, so if Milosevic declares war on us, then... No, look, are you, if you're suggesting that we should go to war against I'm Serbia... I'm not. I'm trying uh, to figure out what's the difference. And you're the telling difference me The difference between what and what. But I mean. the, the, the difference between our commitment, which I'm sure you support... In fighting Hitler, we fought. Now, first of all, the, the, the war against Hitler we fought because uh, a U.S. military base on a, in a colony was attacked by Japan. That's how we got into. Well, the, the Muslims war. in okay. Bosnia should Fine. hope for a, some kind of. Now, look, if we, if not going to war We're, against. I, I beg your pardon. Yeah. You're, you're used to this. Yeah. This <laughs> is called media, and we'll be back in just a moment.